I'm the manager of the Myers Baking Team. Third baseman's playing deep. Lay on a bunt. Here I that's taking an awful chance. I said bunt. <laughs> to be the first sailor today. Come on, move it. I said move it, Cooper. catching his feet aren't even on the bag. Give me some peanuts. Ain't worth spitting the wind. Well, it ain't the Padres that stink, it's their so-called manager and some of the fans they let in the stadium. Peanuts! Red out! Peanuts! 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 Cooper, they never want you to stick to business. Well, what am I supposed to do? Hagen, these people are customers. I can't very well be rude. Now look, I got a concession here, and I am running out of patience. Now, either you quit joining with the fans, or you get out. Hey, there used to be somebody around here. Move your tail, Coop. Old times don't cut ice. Nobody even here to sell this stuff to. against the Brooklyn Dodgers, and then without stopping, throw a perfect strike to home plate to cut off the runner from third base. And you asked, did I get it? Well, did you? No, I missed. He slid right on the tag. How'd it go today? We won. It was a sixth inning, score tied, one out, two on. The batter wanted to whack it. And? Well, third base was playing deep, made him butt. You did right. Well, I did what you would have did, Pop, when you were playing ball. That's right. You know, even now, I could tell the Padres a thing or two. 
Straighten them right out. That who listens? I do. So do I. And what I just heard is your stomach growling. What do you say we go out somewhere and chow down? Get paid today? Yeah. Did fine, too, this week. Yeah. I'm ready to home tonight. Hmm. You can't keep away from my cooking, can you? Price item check, register five. Hey, how about some of these over here? These bananas will make a great banana bread. Ah, oh, J.R., they're too ripe. Come on, let's get some chops. Anybody can flop a chop on a grill. Besides, no challenge to that. I've been thinking about becoming a vegetarian. We already are vegetarians. Then how about some rice? Mm, well, we could add some garlic and we got some ketchup. And onion. Rice wasn't bad, even to brew like it. I'm putting his other food in the refrigerator for tomorrow. Oh, I hate arithmetic. How can we have to do all these darn math problems anyway? Well, if you don't learn arithmetic, how are you going to figure things out? Like percentages and team standings. Well, look it up in the paper. What happens if you don't have a newspaper? I suppose you ain't got the money to buy one. Mm. Look here. Let's say we got Houston and Los Angeles. Los Angeles is 29 and 16. Houston is 28 and 15. Now, who's ahead? Neither. The tide. OK, let's see. You take the number of games won divided by the number of games played. That gives you, for Houston, six, five, one. Los Angeles, it gives you six, four, four. Ah. Houston's ahead. Let me see that. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell me that in the first place? Now, I figured out something for you. What's that? Well, it goes like this. If you could get Mr. Hagen to put you on selling beer, because it's getting hot now, people will drink more, you get paid more. Well, I don't think it would do any good these days, son. The way the Padres are playing, there's more vendors than fans. Well, you can't help the team. You know what's wrong with them. You ought to be manager. Well, you know that, and I know that, but that's as far as it'll ever go. Well, Mr. Walker knows talent and good sense. You were practically one of the best players I ever had. You told me so yourself. Oh, J.R., one dream at a time, OK? Well, could you talk to Mr. Walker for me? Maybe I can get a job as bad boy, and that would help things around here a lot. Well, then get rid of that good right arm of yours. Nothing doing. You could use the money, that's all. Okay, I'll talk to Hagen about the beer. And I'll sell it. If I get thirsty, I'll drink some ice water. You promise? I promise. Let's see who's going to do the dishes. We did it last night. Oh, all right, come on, hurry up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, boom, boom. Wait a minute, hold on. No, you ain't got to wait a minute. You, you, can't, you, have, you got to be able to get a whole beer. Ah, oh, come on. You didn't know. Yeah, come on. You want to do it again? No, let's go. We'll both watch the video. Oh, OK. I'm fed up with being in the cellar. Nothing's worth it. Even those new uniforms did nothing but the team's self-image. I know it looks bad, Fred, but there's a couple of hot prospects down on our farm clubs. They're going to be ready to go next year. That's what you told me about last year's rookies. Let's face the facts, man. We're halfway through the season, and nothing has worked. We tried everything. Positive thinking. Meditation. Oh, and your great idea, primal scream. Maybe you should look at it as a great tax write-off. What do you think I've been doing for the last five years? 
I've made up my mind. I'm going to sell. Um, let me see what I can do to beef things up a bit. I mean, I hate to see you take a complete loss. So do I. Give me a gimmick. Find something, anything. Don't mention that chicken again. <laughs> Harry, you remember Harry? You used to play shortstop. Harry, cut the act, Hoop. The kid's already inside. What kid? <laughs> well, you know, it doesn't make any difference to me. But don't let Hagen catch you. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Yeah. Uh, say hello to your wife, Hoop. Hey, Coop. I'm not even married. <laughs> How they doing out there? Did you see that Bush Lee played in a rant called the last inning? Sending that guy down a second. What would you have done, J.I.? They hit and run. What else? Tell us it's on a hitting street. That's using your head. What's wrong out there now? I think Pete Sloan is playing too deep at third. No, Pete's in position. It's the outfield. They're not playing near deep enough for this guy. He Koopa. hits a long ball. Hey, Koopa! Why is he so mean? Well, what do you expect? He's out in the hot sun all day long. Peanuts! Red hot! Sloan shouldn't have been allowed at bat today. The manager stinks worse than a rotten egg. Hey, what are you talking about? Laurent is a tremendous manager. He ain't got nothing to work with. Laurent couldn't manage the little league team. Padres are little league. They are so low down in the basement, man, they got the bends. Hey. Yeah? Well, what about 1966 when Larry Cooper played for him? Uh, are you at it again, Cooper? At what again? Why don't you go count your money? Leave the peanuts to me. That's all you pay me anyway. You're Larry Cooper selling peanuts? I said move it, Go take a break, cool off. I don't need to take a break. I don't need to cool off. The Padres were once the best team in the league. Did you hear what I said? And you, you know peanuts about baseball. Well, all I know is that you're a hothead and you're fired. Leave the game early. I mean, I'll take you away from it. Ah, that's all right. They do the same thing all the time. Lose. <laughs> I thought you never touched this hard stuff. I don't. Well, I don't. I just felt the coat coming on. I didn't drink all this. Got you fired, huh, Pop? No. Hagen just likes to throw his weight around. Come on, Pop. Let's go. We're gonna just keep my big mouth shut. Seems like I can 
couldn't ever do anything right these days. That job was all we had. I don't know. Nothing goes right. You need so many things, and I just keep hoping our luck will change. Uh, I think you could get another job, a better one, too. You're right. What do we need to worry for? We got each other. Yep. We're in a team. Un... Come on, Dad. Let's go. Too late to come home. Neighborhood services, night line. This is Marion Fowler. May I help you? Uh, hello. I'd like to speak to someone about a little boy in the building where I live. He's terribly neglected. Uh, if you could just give me a little more information. Well, I don't like to make trouble, but the father's a drinking man, if you know what I mean. I see the child alone at all hours, and heaven knows what there is for him to eat. Pop. Oh, I know. I'm trying to figure out why Lorette let it slow back today. Right? What's wrong? I was just thinking about your mother. And how she would have took care of us. She was alive. I'm scared, Jackie Robinson. Come on in, son. It's okay. Come on. Come on in. Jackie Robinson. Now, he was quite a ball player. Yep. He played for the Dodgers. He was one of the best. He sure was. He made it into the Hall of Fame in 1960. 62. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. He was Rookie of the Year in 1948. And he won the Most Valuable Player Award in 1949. Well, certainly is nice to talk to you. Now, what can I do for you, son? Well, you see, Mr. Walker, my pop works very hard at selling peanuts for you in the stands. He also works very hard at rooting for the Padres and sometimes gets the two mixed up. Mm-hmm. 
So Mr. Higgin called him when he was working very hard at rooting and fired him. Oh? So I'm here to get my pop's job back. Now, does your father know you came in here? Nope. He wouldn't like that. He says a man's got to fight his own battles. And he's right. But you should remember him. He played for the Padres. Your father used to play for the Padres? Sure. You remember one of your better hitters, Larry Cooper? Larry Cooper is selling peanuts here? Well, I think he could do better at selling beer. I think you're right. I'll call Hagen later. You tell your father to report for work tomorrow, and he'll be selling beer just like you wanted. I knew you could fix it, Mr. Walker. Thanks. Larry Cooper, I had no idea he was still around. And no idea he was still working for the Padres. Oh, you couldn't get my pop away from baseball. So it's his whole life. Mine, too. I know what you mean. It's my life, too. But you can't tell it the way my team's been playing lately. What do you mean? You got some great ball players out there. Oh? Yeah, they just need pulling together. Now you take Gilman in right field. He'd be better off in center field with his great arm and speed. Make the center fielder a pinch hitter. And Thacker, you got sitting on the bench, put him in. He can run and hit. Really? Sure. If you emphasize your team's strong points instead of their weak ones, you... Mr. Rat... Singer's got a Charlie horse. Price got a sore arm. Bill, this is Jackie Robinson Cooper. He was just telling me what's wrong with the club. I gotta change the whole lineup. They're bums. Okay. Uh, J.R., it was real nice talking to you, but... Now I gotta get down to business, pal. Is there anything else I can do for you? I'd like to be bad boy. <laughs> You're too small, kid. Why don't you hold it? Listen. Haven't you heard of Wee Really Keeler? Sure I have. He played for Boston, so what? He played for Brooklyn at the turn of the century. He's one of the greatest outfielders that ever lived. He has a run. Five feet, four and a half inches tall. Now look, I'm hold it. Wait a minute, wait. Sign him up. That's the brightest face I've seen around here in a long time. All right, Fred, all right. But I've already got three bat boys. Put one of them in center field. Thanks, Mr. Walker. Okay. I'll bet you're a good catcher, are you? Sure. Catch this. It's from the All-Star game, and it's yours. Gee, thanks. Don't do that. You'll wake up my pop. You must be J.R. I'm Marion Fowler from Neighborhood Services. Oh, you selling those? Oh, no. I oh, stepped in this one, though. Do you have... Rats in your apartment? No, we've got Debru. Ah. What's a Debru? Debru is our cat. D E B R U. The D E is for Dizzy Dean. The B is for Ernie Banks. The Ru is for Ruth. Ah, uh, don't tell me Babe Ruth, right? No, my Aunt Ruth. Of course, Babe Ruth. Uh, JR, how come you're not in school today? Oh, well, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, Mm. Well, my pop's got the flu, and I decided to stay home, take care of him. That's why he's sleeping so late. My mom died when I was little. Why don't we go inside and see if your pop needs anything, like uh, some medicine or maybe some groceries? I might be able to help out. Hmm. when he woke up. Yeah. Guess he did. What are you looking in there for? Pop don't sleep in the refrigerator. Yeah. What is that? Tuna? Smells like cat food. 
It is. You want some? Well, this is um, nice. Where's the bedroom? What you see is what you get. Where do you sleep? I wouldn't open that if I were you. Oh? Well, you see, my pop don't like for me having people in when he's not at home. Well, he's absolutely right. Are you home alone a lot? No. Pop works over at the San Diego Stadium. I'm usually at school. But what about after school in the summertime? Well, I play ball a lot and Pop gets me into the games free. JR? Level with me? No. Nah. Oh, come on now, come on. Level, okay? It's okay. Do you ever go to bed hungry? No, I go to bed tired. Well, do you know about the four basic food groups? Yeah, let's see now. There's, uh, there's, uh, delicious, good for you, make do, and what the cat gets. Rats in the hallways, spiders in the apartment. No milk in the refrigerator, but plenty of beer. The place was a mess. Of course. Poor kid has to eat cat food when there's nothing else around. Or maybe the cat food was for the cat. That's not the impression I got. Well, that's nothing. I was in a place just yesterday, and they had three months' worth of garbage stacked up in the closet. But what bothered me was the goat that was living in the bedroom. Oh, Brad, come on. This is serious. I am serious. You don't think for one minute that judge is going to send that boy to a, a foster home just because you think the father is not a good housekeeper? I'm not talking about housekeeping. I'm talking about giving a person a chance to have a decent life. We should place him in a foster home, or at the very least, put him in one of those welfare camps. Okay, okay. You say he hangs around the ballpark? Mm-hmm. Why don't you get in your car and drive around there and ask some questions? Maybe you might get some information. Good idea. You know, it's funny. You're just like I was 20 years ago when I got out of college. Oh, don't tell me you don't get involved with your cases anymore. I've been out with you. I've seen you work. Listen, I still get involved. Yes, of course. But it is a very delicate balance. Sometimes you win. Sometimes there is nothing you can do. Sometimes there is nothing you should do. Brad, you should have seen him. He's such a little guy putting up such a big front. But he's so bright. I tell you, he's got a chance if we could just give him some help. Now, there's got to be something we can do. I can't believe it. You ain't putting me on, are you? Nope. Mr. Watkins a great guy. Selling beer. Now, this is step up. Mr. Walker remembers you right off. He says you're practically the best player they ever had. He said that? Well, I'd sure like to see Hagen's face. Still, you know, I feel kind of funny about you going in there to bat for me. Like you said, it was the top. Yeah, I know, but... Listen, Pop, I know you're going to go in there and see Walker on your own, but I was there applying for a job myself, and I decided to kill two birds with one stone. What job? Bad boy. Bad boy? <laughs> this calls for a real celebration. What do you say we go get some ice cream? All right. Bad boy. Hey, I want you to stand up tall in there. You got this job all by yourself. Don't worry. You just feel in first day jitters. By tomorrow, you'll be an old hand at this. Were you nervous the first day with the team? Hmm, was I ever. But I tried to cover it by being a big shot, you know? I don't want you to do that. I just want you to be yourself. 
Right now, I'd rather be Will Chamberlain. <laughs> For luck, okay? But this is your glove, Pop. I know. But I've been saving it for you. For when you made the big leagues. And now you have. Gee! It almost fits. Well, you better go on in. You don't want to be late your first day on the job. I'll be up in the stands watching out for you. Told you our luck would change. With the team. Unbeatable. Yesterday. You think a guy like this could handle a short hopper back to the mound once in a while? Hey, knock it off. Will you tell us? Can't you see him trying to read? This is a boy club, not a comic book of the month club. Oh, yeah? I'll have you know that this is a collector's item. Cost me a buck fifty. Hey, tell us. What about you? Put a guy out. You got your foot in the bag, right? Yeah. What about you? All right. All right, let's save that energy for the game. We got one going on today, you know. No kidding. Hey, who let the kid in here? Look, you want some autographs, come back after the game. I'm supposed to be here. Oh, that's right. This is the new, uh, the new bad boy. <laughs> hey, what do you say? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, well, it wasn't my idea, but Walker put him on. Get the kid a suit, will you? Let's get out of the field. Hey, let's go get him. Orlando, you just stop trying to improve your mind and get your butt out there. Kid. Yeah? You know, I was just a rookie like Tellus when uh, Cooper was sent back to the miners. He never did get back on his feet. Hi. Hi. Looks like you uh, need a tailor, maybe a lot of vitamins. Oh, a suit that fits. I'm Pete Sloan. Oh, yeah, I know all about you. You joined the team last time our pop played. That's right. Your, uh, your dad ever uh, talk much about me? Yep, he talks about all the guys. Yeah, well, I guess I couldn't expect him to remember me. I was kind of young, you know, just a rookie. Bet you look up to him, huh? I look up to everybody. <laughs> you know something? I used to watch your dad like a hawk. I mean, every move, every play he made, he was really terrific. I always thought, gee, if I could just be as good as Larry Cooper. Yep, that's my feelings, too. What's your pop doing these days? Oh, he works here. You mean here at the park? He sells beer, temporarily. He's got something else lined up, probably a TV commercial. Well, that's great. Hey, anybody ask you to warm up with him? No. Want to toss a few with me? OK. OK. Hey, Pete, you gonna warm up with him or you gonna use it for target practice? Oh, <laughs> hey, come on, tell us, give the kid a chance. 
Huh? Hey, little dude, you better be careful or somebody's gonna step on you. <laughs> Don't let that get to you. I won't. They always ride the new guy. Ice cold beer, right here. Cold beer, ice cold beer. Chips on the table. my selling beer. More money, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, a lot more. I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't double my take home by the end of the month. So I was thinking that uh, there's no reason for you to keep on working if you don't want to. Are you kidding? Baseball's my business. I think I'll stick with it. But you could go to camp. Camp? Yeah, camp's for kids. <laughs> hey, Pop, I need some help with something. Name it. Well, do you think Loran ought to change his batting order? Oh, I don't know. Well, I was too busy selling today to watch much. Oh. Well, you know the Padres backwards and forwards, and... Well, Pete Sloan is in an awful slump. When wasn't he? Um, what I meant was, Loran is thinking of sending him down to the minors. Hmm. Wouldn't that be justice? What are you talking about? Pete's a great guy. Whatever Pete Sloan is, a great guy is not it. Well, I think he's still got a lot of good years of hitting in him. He just isn't hitting, and I thought maybe you'd know what was wrong with him. I know exactly what's wrong with him. He always lets one or two pitches go by before he swings at the ball, even though they may be strikes. He's always looking for that home run. He knows inside he's only got a few years left, so he figures he'll get in some personal glory. It's a heck of a way to play a team sport, if you ask me. Well, what did he ever do to you? Nothing. Forget it. I just know where he's at, okay? I get off yelling at the best bat boy. Come on, let's me and you team up on them hamburgers. across the plate. Your face is right in the dirt. Way to go, fellas. Singer, get in there and do something.
Pete. Yeah. Can I tell you something? Sure. You have a habit of not swinging at the first pitch. You let it go by no matter what they throw. Hey, Jr. The pitchers know it. They throw it right down the middle, and that puts you one strike in the hole. What do you think I ought to do about it? Ain't nothing wrong with a base hit. Hey, can I get a beer here now? Not today. I've got an appointment. It's about J.R. Cooper. Uh, oh, yeah. Isn't he something? Did you see the three hits I got today? Isn't he a little young to be working as a bad boy? The double and the two singles? Uh-uh. Do you know anything about his home life? I mean, well, I, he lives with his father. But, I mean, it's really weird how I got those hits. Mr. Sloan, I'm really not interested in baseball. No, but, but that's it. It was the kid, I mean, J.R., that, that did it for me. I don't know how, but he figured out what I was doing wrong. And he was dead right. What about that, huh? Well, he probably likes baseball and he made a lucky guess, but Mr. Sloan, what I really need to know about is his home life. Why? Because I think there may be some serious problems of neglect. Well, look, I don't know what you're after, but uh, from what I can see, he's, he's healthy and perfectly happy. Why don't you go catch some juvenile delinquents? I'm not a police officer. And why don't you mind your own business? The San Diego Padres, usually a struggling ball club, never a pennant contender, now seem to be coming to life. Today, Pete Sloan's hitting carried the Padres to a win over Atlanta. Tomorrow, the Padres head on to a two-week-long road trip. Let's hope their luck continues. The idea of bringing that kid along with us is nuts. Right? Look, the team thinks he's lucky for them, and so does Walker, and he just might be. Couldn't be you wanted to take your own son along. You make sure you call your aunt when you get there, okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah, good to see you pay the price. I hear your cousins want to see me, too. Yeah. Sure that you can't go. We've never been apart before. Well, no, I got stuff to do. And besides, this is your big break. Just be sure when you go over the diagrams we did that you keep my name out of it, okay? But they were your plays. Yeah, I know, but I've been sort of keeping myself out of sight up in the stands, and I'd like to kind of keep it that way. Okay, I guess. All right. Hey, Pete. Nice to see you, Larry. Yeah, nice streak you have, and keep it up. Thank you. I'll, uh, see you on the bus, JR. Well, you better get in line, son. Uh, remember, we're the team. Unbeatable. Hey, let me get that. Pete? Yeah. Uh, Walker says to take care of the little fella. He uh, wants some more wind. Yeah, okay. Thanks. How come my pop doesn't like you? I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you. I think it has to do with when we were playing together. You know, we were sort of rivals then. 
Come on, you know how it is. Yeah. Come on. Well, can I sit next to you when we get on a plane? Sure. I'll get you a window seat. Oh, I don't care about the scenery. I just had some business I want to talk over with you. Business? What's this? This is a breakdown of the whole club. Yep. If I can change what you're doing wrong, maybe I can change the whole team. You mean you did this? Wrote it all out this morning. Well, I'll tell you, if any of this stuff is half good, you could be some kind of a genius. Come on, buddy. What do you want? Mr. Lawrence Cooper? Yeah. What is this? Well, you have to appear in family court. Something to do with child neglect. At it again. Go ahead and laugh, smart guy. That was a pretty play singer pulled off yesterday. So we got a little team spirit going for once. What's that got to do with the kid? Yeah, well, Pete told me it was a kid who helped him out with his hitting. Pete still probably believes in Santa Claus. $2. You know, maybe the kid gets a savvy from his old man. Cooper, don't make me laugh. <clears throat> There's nothing to that kid stuff. Pete's pulling your leg, Grosso. Yeah, well, answer me this. If it was Pete who helped out Singer, who helped out Pete? It was JR. Pete thinks he's some kind of kid genius. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about? Superboy was just a kid. So was Robin. So are you. <laughs> How you doing up there with Singer? Oh, fine. You wouldn't let a charm, Pop. Some of the other guys are getting interested now. That's great. Hey, uh, you didn't say anything about me, did you? Oh, no. I wish I could, though. But it's fun being out on the road. We're staying at a great hotel. That's terrific. Well, I got to go now. I love you, J.R. Take care of yourself for me, you hear? I'll call you again in a few days. Bye-bye. Bye, Pop. Pop's doing real fine, real good. Yeah? That TV commercial might be any day now. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, hey, am I interrupting? No, no, come on in, around. Sit down. Hey, what's that? This is a classic comic. I just finished it myself. You'll love it. Something different. Hmm, thanks. I'll give it a try. Say, Pete. I know what you did for Singer, and, well, I got a couple of rough edges I could use some help with. What do you say, J.R.? Okay. <laughs> I knew it was J.R. Let's see. Hey, in 
near enough light in you? Plenty. I just see better this way. This is incredible. Say, oh, uh, anybody got change? The machine down the hall only takes quarters. Come on in. There's always room for one more. <laughs> Singer dazzles at shortstop. Padres bolstered by Singer and Sloan. Bill, what's going on? I told you I'd have those guys in shape sooner or later. Yeah, that was two years ago. Hey, listen, I'm not complaining, but I'd like to see you spread it around a little bit. Don't worry. I've already started working with some of the others. Okay, who can I expect to see in the headlines next? Hey, leave me some surprises, Fred. Oh, temperamental managers. Hey, I don't care how you do it. Just win me two more games. Right, Bill? Oh. All of you clear out of here. Don't you realize it's past the kid's bedtime? Come on, guys. Good night. That, my boy, is a good one. Bet I know what this is for. Ah, yes. This is for the cloud with the silver lining that has just dumped opportunity right into our laps. We have won six games in a row, and I'll drink to that. Yeah, but for how long? Listen, just get me some press. I want some hype. Make this the Cinderella team of the season. Then I'll put out some feelers for a buyer. There must be some rich soul out there who wants a team. I wonder if the Arabs like baseball. Well, here it is, top of the ninth inning. Wrigley Field, Chicago, two down. The score tied at three apiece. Medlock on first, Singer heading to home plate. Walden on the mound into a stretch. Here comes the delivery. A line drive base hit the left field. Medlock rounding second. Holds on right there. Singer stays at first. And this brings up Juan Tellis to the plate. Tellis. Third baseman's playing deep. Lay down the ball. What am I supposed to tell Laurent? Hey, come on. Never mind, Laurent. Just do like JR tells you. Tell us it's because of JR's advice that Orlando's doing so well. Come on, what does it hurt to listen to the kid? Sure about that? Oh, yeah, it was before. What do you mean? The Myers Bakery team. Bakery, huh? This ball game is history as the Padres came back to win it. The final score, San Diego 4, Chicago 3. We won. Padres beat Chicago. I knew it. All they needed was to get it together. Let's say what on the house, Coop. No, thanks, Harry. I can't. I got problems. I gotta keep my head straight. serve minors. Not me.
I'll see you around, Harry. Yeah, take it easy. You know where Aunt was looking for you? Oh, yeah? Out on the field. Hmm. Okay, I'll be back in a minute, Pete. Yeah, okay. That was a pretty tricky play you ordered up on Tellus. You better level with me, because I've been watching you. You're the one that's been doing the coaching. Well, I just gave the team luck. At least that's what everybody says. Smart kid, genius. Those flatheads might think so, but you and I know where you got all your baseball dope from, right? Well, maybe I am a genius, and you're mad just because you're not. You're just like your old man, smart Alec, know all the answers. Well, I'm gonna blow your little scam wide open, kid. I know your old man's trying to get his fat foot back in the door, and I'm not falling for hey, it. Hey, what do you think you're doing, Laurent? Why don't you ask Pete? He'll tell you. They all know. Larry Cooper's a nothing. He was a second-rate player his whole life. Your father's a bum. <clears throat> Come on. Come on! You're gonna get fined good for that, Okay. Baby. But Walker's gonna know the truth about J.R. It's time people found out who really put this club back on its feet. I'm not gonna be shown up in the papers by some ten-year-old! And besides, Who's gonna believe him? Boy, am I glad you're back. Me too, Pop. How come we move? Well, nothing worked in that other place. I got tired of having to keep the window open with my lucky back. To be honest, I just didn't want a lot of people bothering us. We're making a little more money now, and uh, as soon as the bucks come, well, here come the freeloaders. I might as well tell you now. Lorraine got on to me. I have to go over to the stadium this afternoon. Well, don't worry about a thing. You just stick to your story. But the team should know it was you who made the difference. Uh, son. If they find out it's me, they won't take it seriously. Now, we've got to keep them thinking that it's just you. Okay. Don't worry, Dad. I'll think of something. Fred, you know me and you know my work. Now, how could you possibly think it's that ten-year-old kid? Come on, Laurent. That little kid knows more about baseball than you ever will. That's ridiculous. I'm telling you, Fred, it's a waste of your time, a waste. Yeah, well, he's wasting a salary on you. You're not responsible for the turnaround on this team, and you know it, Laurent. Hey, guys, come on in here. Bring JR. Come on, buddy. Hey, buddy. Okay, uh... Orlando, why don't you uh, tell Mr. Walker you know, just what J.R. did for you, okay? Hey, come on. Hey. J.R. was the only one that uh, knew that my bad ball playing was because of my bad eyes. So once I got the glasses, my ball playing improved. You know hey, that, Mr. Walker. Yeah. Right. Hey. Uh, tell us. <clears throat> Lauren didn't know what I was doing wrong. And along comes little J.R., gives me a couple of pointers, and there I am, making headlines. I couldn't throw a strike to a parking lot, <laughs> little GR. All right, well, hold yeah, it, guys. I think I'm getting the idea. Pete, uh, you're suggesting that little uh, JR take over the ball club? Yes, sir. 
Yeah, why not? Yeah. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. hey, wait, I, I think that's a great idea. Uh, I know, Mr. Walker, that you would think that it's a, a great idea. I do. <laughs> the Cinderella story we were looking for. Boy genius leads club to victory. <laughs> hey, what could it hurt for a couple of weeks? Sure. Until you wrap up that uh, new deal you were thinking about? Yeah, it's just crazy enough to work. Listen, I want a lot of pictures, okay? I want a little JR, home plate. I want you, Bill, there. Batting practice, then right. pitching, then first base coaching. I want the whole club out there. Lots of pictures. You want me to work with a 10-year-old kid? 11. Who just wanders in out of left field. A grown man conferring with a kid. That's right. <laughs> I'd be the laughing stock of the league. Let him laugh. <laughs> and then we'll all laugh our way right to the division yeah. championship. Ah, uh, yeah. 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 Come on, I'll make it good for you. I'll make the money right, all right? I don't need the money, Fred. Bill. I've got plenty of other places to go for my services. Bill. And they don't include playing nursemaid. Oh, don't be a hothead, oh, Bill. Right. Bill, reconsider. Bill. Mr. Walker, he could be the biggest attraction since Babe Ruth or Mickey Mantle. Yeah. Yeah. Bring him out yeah. here. Yeah. The fans will bust the gates to get in. Really? Come on over here, son, so I can have a good look at you. Look at him, JR. Look at that. Jackie Robinson Cooper. How would you like to be the manager of my ball club? Deal? Deal. This is certainly baseball history. Jackie Robinson Cooper, at the unbelievable age of 11, has just been signed as manager of the San Diego Padres. According to owner Fred Walker and many of the Padre players, it was little J.R. who pulled the team out of a five-year-long slump and turned them into pennant contenders. The only son of former Padre third baseman Larry Cooper, J.R. said he's liked baseball all of his life. And when I asked him about how he makes his decisions on the field, he said, I know the players, and I play all the angles. <laughs> You are too much! Well, I made sure they got your name, Pop, for credit for having me. Well, I'll take it, because having you was the best thing I ever did. Now that we have a free hand, we can really get to work on the team. Yeah, we got to take the division in time short. I feel bad about making Laurent lose his job, though. Don't go worrying about Laurent. You didn't take his job away from him. In the first place, he wasn't doing it. In the second place, he went over to the American League and wangled himself another job with the top team. You know, I've been thinking about our infield. I know just how to improve our defense. Good, because that's one of the first things I want to set to work on. I sure wish you could make it up with Pete, though. He's been an awful big help to me. Now, you know that's a sore subject with me, so let's just drop it before we get started. But if it wasn't for Pete, Walker would have never hired me. Well, won't you tell me what happened between you two? Well, because part of me knows that you like Pete a lot and says it wouldn't be fair. And another part of me doesn't want you to like Pete at all because he hurt me. How'd he hurt you, Pop? He wanted my position. He figured I was about to be bumped out. One day he was up at bat. I was on third. I got the signal to steal home. I ran. He swung at the ball anyway. Hit a line drive right into my head. After that, I was gun shy. And, well, you know what happened after that. I was finished. Oh, well, maybe it was an accident. I know he saw the signal. I'm sorry, son. Well, why has he been so great to me? Could be guilt. Or maybe he's still trying to take things away from me. My job then, and now you. Well, if you want me to quit the team, just say so. No way.
Well, gentlemen, we've come from last place and we've won a division. That means nothing anymore. I want you guys to think of that penny. I want you to eat, sleep, and dream penny. Singer, Sloan, Tellus, Russell, Orlando, all you guys have seen stars in the eyes of all this publicity. Well, forget it. We're a team. No fancy dance unless it shows up on the scoreboard. Now I want you to get out there and get that penny! <laughs> San Diego Padres have won the pennant. They will represent the National League and play the American League champion Chicago White Sox in baseball's fall classic, the World Series. However, there's a little something different about this series, different from any others of the past. Bill Laurent, who resigned as manager of the Padres, then took on the job as the acting manager of the Chicago White Sox, will now manage against his former club and against the young man who replaced him with San Diego. Jackie Robinson Cooper is the boy who replaced Laurent and led the Padres into the series. Now, that's a story all by itself. This young man sparked life into this ball club. It touched the hearts of millions and it has made it the sports story of the year. This series is different, and the stage is now set for what should be a most dramatic and exciting World Series. School's been open two weeks. Look at this newspaper with J.R. on the cover of the sports page. Marion, he has a work permit and a tutor. Well, what about night games? He's got to be up all hours. He probably sleeps until noon. Fine. Then what about his health? I don't care what they do. There's only so many hours in the day. He's being pushed. Marion, this thing has become an obsession with you. He's being exploited. First of all, by the press, then by the Padres, even by his own father. And not to mention, he makes more money than you and I put together. An 11-year-old boy shouldn't have to be the breadwinner of his family. I think the courts will agree with that. No. You still miss her, huh? I promised her you and I would never be apart. Oh, I don't think she mind us going out on the road. She'd be proud of us. Oh, Pop. Oh, nothing. It's just that you're growing up so fast. There's so many things I wanted to do for you. And I wanted us to do together. Oh, well, now that I manage the Padres, we can do whatever we like. Sure we can. Only it's natural for a father to start worrying about the time when his son will be away, out on his own like. And sometimes I even get to worrying about silly things. Like what would happen to you if I weren't around? What do you mean? We're together and we're going to stay that way. Well, that's the way we want it. Sometimes life can throw you a mean curve. I guess what I'm trying to say, JR, is that I love you. I'll always love you. And if the time should come when we have to be apart for a little while, or for a long time. I want you to remember that. Don't do things like I taught you. Gentlemen, we're just as surprised about this as you are. But the proof is in the pudding. We've just won the first three games of the World Series. Oh, and I'd like to point out, no team in history has ever done that and lost the series. Mr. Walker, are you going to be sitting in your usual place? Absolutely, right out there with the fans. 
Is that, is that about it? All right, thank you, gentlemen. Thank Make you sure lot. they get plenty of booze and sandwiches. Take care of the press. Gotcha. Come on, boys. Thanks for coming in, guys. To the World Series champions. Let's have a little music. One more game and it's in the bag. Mm. Let's uh, liven up the proceedings a bit. I'll get you for that. Not if I get you first. I got you. I'll get you. Help! Help you. Help! 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 Don't you dare lay a hand on him. J.R., I want you to come with me. You're not taking him anyway. J.R., a court judge has decided that the grown-ups in your life aren't doing a very good job of taking care of you. They want me to take you to a safe, quiet place tonight. And the judge wants to talk to you herself in the morning. But Pop takes good care of me. He helps me with my homework and teaches me things and he makes me brush my teeth at night. Mr. Cooper, this is a court order. If you refuse it, you will be held in contempt of court. You have to go, Jim. But I will keep your son out. Get a better job and I'll get a lawyer. Nothing's going to keep us apart. I'll get you as soon as I can, son. Talk to the judge again. I don't want to live with anybody else. I know it may seem hard to understand now, Jr. But you'll like it here. You'll have a real family and a brother and a sister to play with. I have a real family. It's always been Pop and I. I don't need nobody else. Who's gonna make me laugh when I feel like crying? I'll be a stranger to someone else. Browns want to help you be a little boy again. They want to give you a nice place to live and a room of your own. Listen, I know what we got and what we don't got. I go to school, I see other kids live. Sure, maybe they got nicer looking homes than mine and mothers who feed them lunch every day. I don't need that stuff. I got Pop. And it's not Pop's fault my mom died when I was little. Well, no one's saying it's your Pop's fault, Jr. It's just that sometimes it's better for a child to live away from his real parents for a while. Listen, now you level with me. How come you don't think I know what's good for me? Maybe you do, Jr. Maybe you do. It's just not fair. Me and Pop, we brought the team into the World Series. We only need one more game to win, and... We're here. Harry, give me a drink. Thank you. One second thought, Harry. Give me a beer.
Neighborhood services. Yes, Mr. Walker, I've been thinking a lot about it the last two days. Yes, I'd be glad to. I don't think you see the point to all this, Mr. Walker. You must understand I am only doing what I think is best for JR. And I don't think you see all this mail, Mary. May I call you Mary? Look at this. Five bags every day. There are millions of fans of JRs out there that love him and are demanding his return. Now, here's where he ought to be. And you want him back here to win the last game of the World Series for you. Isn't that really what it's Okay, about? I want to win the World Series. I want to sell the team. But I've changed my mind. You know, the last time the Padres were in the World Series, my father ran the show, and it's my turn now. And who gives you people the right to walk into private lives and decide what's best for them? You know, you petty bureaucrats have a lot of nerve. Yeah, Pete? Mr. Walker. Yeah. It was Larry Cooper who's been calling all our plays. Cooper? JR's father? Right. You know, I should have figured that out a long time ago. And I guess if I'd been in Coop's place, you know, selling peanuts in the stand, I might have done the same thing, just kept quiet. He probably figured if we knew, we'd just laugh at him. Yeah, but wait a minute. If this is true, Larry Cooper can get us out of this mess. Mr. Walker, we've lost three straight. We've only got one game left. There is nobody else. I mean, you saw yesterday Harrison. He just can't cut it. Larry Cooper's our only chance. Uh, Mr. Walker, if you hired Larry Cooper, and your team won the World Series. Does that mean he has a job with you next season? Oh, if we win the series, he can have any job he wants. If Larry Cooper had a regular job, then the courts would accept him as a responsible parent. Right. And he could give JR a decent place to live and an environment that isn't all peanuts and beer. Right. Well, let me see what I can do. Oh. And if we win the series, the Padres will be worth millions. Are you kidding uh, me? If we win the series, you think I'm going to sell this team? No way! Get me Larry Cooper and get him right now. Guys, come on, he's down here. Hey, come on, how's it going? What's happening, my man? Hey, Larry? Hey, what's going on, brother? Hey, Larry, we got something we want to talk to you about. Yeah. We got nothing to talk about, Sloan. Oh, hey, hey, come on, come on. Two minutes, can you forget the past? Just listen to me. We know it was you that gave JR the stuff that saved the team. What's the matter with you? You didn't trust us enough to come and tell us what happened? You cost me my career once, man. And now because of baseball, I'm losing my son. Look, Walker wants you to step in and manage the team. What do you say? Do you love selling peanuts so much you throw away the break of a lifetime? Larry, I know you got a grudge against me, but you listen, I like that kid of yours. I like him a lot. If you take this job, you'll be able to get him back. Now, come on, Coop. Come on, we're all behind you. Yeah, come on, come on Coop. Coop. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, man. Yeah. Do it for JR. Yeah. 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 He's a good little character. He'd rather sit here and feel sorry for himself. You're never going to change, Larry. You're a bum. Hey, 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 are you crazy, man? Cool it. Cool. Hey, hey, we got cool. it. Listen, Coop. Cool. Cool. He didn't cool. mean it. He didn't mean it, Coop. Hey, cool off now, Pete. Look, he's angry. He's angry. Oh, yeah. 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 What about JR? All you guys care about is the series. You got it? Go get it, you're hot. Leave me alone. Just get away. You don't need me. You never did. Coop, we need you, man. Think about it, Coop. We need you. Slow down, man. Keep cool. Take care. Hey, 
Hey, JR. How are you? Oh, I miss you like crazy. I miss you something awful too, Pop. When am I gonna come back home? I don't know. But believe me, I can't think of anything else. Uh, the team came by Harry's place today. Some nonsense about me managing the final game tomorrow. I told him no. I know you told Pete Sloan it was me calling the plays, but it's okay. You come first in my life now, son, and if I hadn't started this business in the first place, it, we'd probably still be together. But we started it together. And if you go in and win for us tomorrow, we'll both win. Don't want to take that away from us, too. You don't understand, son. I've been out of it over 12 years. 13. But you know baseball better than anybody. You proved it. Yeah. They'd be waiting for me to blow it. Man, if I was there, you would have done it. Hey, I hear you got a nice family to live with. Room of your own. But then I don't care about that. But you might have a real good chance there, J.R. You know, for a little while, till I get myself together. Well, here we are at the seventh and deciding game of the World Series. The San Diego Padres won the first three. It looked like they were going to blow the White Sox out of the box, but then the Sox came back to win the next three. So we've got that deciding game, number seven, coming up today. The winner of this one will be the world champions. It's been an amazing season for the San Diego Padres. This is a team that's gone through three managers. First, there was Bill Laurent, and if you can believe that, he's now the manager of the opposing team, the Chicago White Sox. Next followed little J.R. Cooper, the lucky charm for the ball club. He's the kid who turned the Padres around from a losing team to pennant winners. And finally, the last manager, the manager for only today's ball game, Larry Cooper. He's the father of little J.R. and a former Padre player. Today we have a sellout. <laughs> Fowler. Um, yes, thank you for calling, Mr. Brown. I'm sure you're right. He must have gone to the game. I'll go and see if I can find him. Sorry, son, you gotta have exact change. Another twist to today's ball game is the fact that Pete Sloan, the first Padre player to put the Padres back on a winning track, is sitting on the bench today. He may not even make it into the last game of the season. It's the top of the fifth inning. The White Sox coming on now against the San Diego Padres. Sox on top, one to nothing. It'll be Jack Bailey, the left fielder, moving in to do the hitting against the right-handed Ken Grasso for the Padres. Grasso into his windup now for the first pitch. 
Here it comes, a good hard, oh, there it goes, it's a long, deep drive to left field, it's going, going, it's gone, the White Sox on top, two to nothing. Here's the top of the sixth inning. The Chicago White Sox leading in the ball game 2-0. And here comes Earl Altschiller stepping up. He's got runners at second and third as Altschiller goes after Kenny Grasso. And here's a pitch on the way to Altschiller. A line shot left center field is going to split the alley. Molina comes around to score. Here's Benton rounding third. He scores. Altschiller into second base. He's got himself a double. It's Chicago 4, San Diego nothing. Al Meyer coming off of the Chicago White Sox. Al Chiller at second base and Kenny Grasso having a battle in this inning. He's ready now as Meyer steps in. The check by Grasso, the pitch on the way and there goes a drive to left field. Orlando waiting for it to come down. He's under it and he's got it for the third and final out. So for the White Sox here in the sixth inning, two runs, three base hits, a man left. The score after five and a half, Sox score, the Padres nothing. It's getting a little dark here in San Diego, and uh, here come the lights at the stadium, so we're ready to go. Coming up to the bottom of the eighth inning, Padres have been chipping away at the White Sox lead. Oh, one run uh, is already crossed the plate. Padres oh, now has sorry. first and third. It's a four to one ball game. White Sox are leading. Here comes Padre first baseman Juan Tellis. Vic Orvik ready to go, and the pitch to Tellis. It's a wild pitch. Singer. It's the White Sox now leading it four to two. Well, it's the top of the ninth inning. White Sox with runners at first and second, and here comes Cooper out to the mound, waving to the bullpen. It looks like it's going to be all for Kenny Grasso. Cooper now waving for Riley Carlton, bringing him in from the bullpen. He's on the mound, and he and Cooper and Grasso talking things over. Cooper and Grasso now leaving the field, heading for the dugout. But wait a, wait a minute. They're heading over toward first base. Tellus is leaving the ball game. Grasso is going to play first base. Man, I can't figure this one out. I don't know what Cooper's trying to do here. Well, Carlton has finished his warm-up tosses. He's ready to go as Evans steps in. The pitch on the way to Evans. It's a pop-up into the infield. The infield fly rule call, but Grasso comes in to make the play anyway. Two down. Well, right now, coming on to play first base for the San Diego Padres, it's Mike Thorndike. So Riley Carlton got by Evans, and that brings Steve Watson to the plate. Well, here's one I don't believe. Cooper calling timeout once again. Grasso is now going back to the pitcher's mound. Carlton hands him the ball. He heads for the dugout. Cooper put Grasso on first base so that he could stay in the ball game and pitch to the right-handed Watson. Cooper is going right to the wire with his ace pitcher, Kenny Grasso. Well, we're all set to go now, gang. Grasso into the stretch. He looks back at second. Here's the pitch. Watson hits a ground ball to the shortstop. Singer up with it. Over to second. The force is on. That ends the inning. Cooper did a great job getting out of the inning and the situation as did Grasso and the entire Padre ball club. It's the bottom of the ninth inning. White Sox leading the Padres 4-2. Marv Gilman ready to go. Runners at second and third, but wait a minute. Here's Cooper sending up the aging veteran Pete Sloan to bat for Marv Gilman. I want you to go in now. Pinch hit for me. Why? Because you're the best man I got for the job. And what I feel about you personally doesn't count. And now it looks like Pete Sloan coming on to hit. This is it, the last chance for San Diego. Two men down. 
Orbic on the mound, getting set. Checks the runner at third. Here's the pitch. The fastball right down the middle called strike one. Orbic getting the ball back from his catcher. Sets again. Gets a sign. Into his windup. One more time, the 0-1 pitch. Another fastball Woo! right down the middle. Swung on a miss, strike two. So the count, no balls, two strikes coming right down to that last strike of the season. Sloan really in a hole. The entire Padre season on the line. Orvik setting again. Both dugouts standing. We're all set to go. Orvik sets, checks third. He's into the windup. Here's the 0-2 pitch. 